Good evening. I'm Lamar Block of Throckmorton, and today is and today is Tuesday, June twenty fifth, twenty thirteen. I'm under an emergency situation right now because in the next couple of weeks things will start to get worse. With no job that equals no money and nothing to do. And so, in order for me to get something done about it, I'm applying to the Community Culinary School of Charlotte. They say they're training in the culinary arts for students and for adults who have faced barriers to successful employment. Yes, I've faced barriers to I've I have faced barriers to successful employment, but it's because of some highfalutin peoples. It ain't about my attitude. It ain't about my transportation situation. It's not about my housing situation. It is definitely not over my drug use. And it's not over my sexual... But I surely do think that it is because of my sexual orientation and because of my disability. They think because the actual, because the actual uh, meaning of the word gay means happy, they mean, that means they're going to walk all over you. You got another thing coming. Hmm. Whew. I had to, um, I had to go off on, I had to go off on one of them. Because, you know... And and you know what? Let me tell you something. Let's go back to that because because look at it this way. Um, HMS host really don't keep good. Trying to not divulge information about peoples because because the times I've gotten corrective actions, they have actually gotten termination notices still on their computer screen. Like, look at right here. Look at the computer screen. Whenever you're, whenever you're given a counseling after a corrective action, what you got to do is you got to say, like, for instance, Sharita, she comes in. All you got to do, all you got to do, turn it off. Simple as that. They um one day I was coming in to pick up my um to pick up my paycheck at Budava. They um because I just canceled out my direct debit for Bank of America and I was going to the Charlotte Metro Credit Union. What the deal is when I went up there the first time and when I went up there to get my check The first thing I saw, Lamar Blocker, final WW. And I know who it was because there is only one person, there is only one manager who ever spells my name L A M A R. You know that is bad. 
when it is on every legal document. It was on my um um on, on my um airport ID badge. It was on everything. L A M A R R. There are some things that I can say good about Cabarrus County Schools teaching their teach teaching their people common knowledge common common knowledge bleep bleep I'm in I'm in the living room where my um where I can print because my printer doesn't my printer has no black inks so I can't cuss in front of the house you know what I'm gonna do it Cabarrus County, what they need to do instead of them requiring that their kids need to write in cursive, they need to actually teach their kids how not to be subject and how A, not to be subjected to fuck shit, B, not to actually give fuck shit to people because I'm from Mecklenburg County. You just come here to work. I live here. You could get you a job for HMS host at Concord Mills. You are so dang on hard I said lower your voice. My voice is low. It is not. I'm going to close it. We don't want to get nothing about no Boulevard and all of that. You need to let Boulevard go. Mom, <laughs> anyway, about the culinary school, they want you to submit an application either by going there or mailing it. You got to fill it out on your own penmanship. I'm closing the dough. At least cracking it. Huh? I'm just gonna crack it. Um, just send it over. Second, you gotta schedule an interview. Number three, schedule an evaluation. Number four, submit to a drug screening. That is the problem that I'm facing. In uncertain times, which one do you think I'm going to go for first? The knife or the blunt? I'm going to go for the blunt first, knife second. And if I have some of the blunt left, after I do what the knife needs to do, I'll smoke a blunt thereafter. Because guess what? If I'm going to go to jail, I'm going to go to jail 3602. And I'm going to be smiling for the mugshot. <sighs> okay, so... For the time being, I'm going to put in my culinary school application. Learn not to burn ramen noodles. Do Jacob's Letter Job Center. We're going to... We're going to get back a job. Even if it even if it's working for dang on They must have went out of business they and Jacob's letter got a good lord. But Mr um but Mr. Miller I love his broken English. <laughs> yes, his broken English brought me joy every day I came in. <sighs> you know what? I gotta put this in for filing. I'm gonna get my soda pop and we gonna reconvene in the flat outside.
because you know what? I gotta get in. We finna go down and dirty. Alright. Here's what's going. So, okay. Because people has been on their fuck shit all day. Let's 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 do it like this. We're gonna get down if we're gonna start from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now we're here. You know. Okay. First of all, the reason why I think people are on their fuck shit is because of the fact that number one. You need to keep some sort of correspondence. Um, let's go. Let's go to. This all began after the running group. Okay. During our. After our running group came back to Charlotte, we felt, we we had to do a uh, life skills course. Uh, okay. What the life skills course they're gonna they're trying to tell us ways that we can overcome barriers on all bases, socioeconomic status, your health, your well being, your mind and your mind, body and spirit. And how to make the necessary amends to live happily ever after. Happily ever after my ass. So, you know what? I tell them, look it. If you're going to represent the whole damn... Um, if you're going to represent... Us as a damn under the under a volunteer capacity, you should at least if you gonna see somebody outside of the running group, you need to say hey. Like, don't say like, who are you? Who are you? You got on. One of our shirts. You don't know us by name. You want to get all pissy when we when we tell you that outside of the outside of judiciary and business realms, we would like to be called by our we would like to be called by our nicknames. My mother is the only one who is allowed to use my government name because she don't like the fact that I smoke weed. That makes me a little bit more skeptical in going to no doubt tomorrow. Number two. My time is very important to me. If I could, if I can shave off, if I can shave off twenty minutes of rolling up blunts by instead of doing it in the bathroom at Starbucks, doing it on the city bus, I'll do it. If it means me getting the answer first. And then, if it means getting the answer when I first go into the dough, instead of coming back an hour later, that means I'm going to do it. So, how about I go to Jason's Delicatessen? Who up in the epicenter. One of my Facebook friends worked there. I told him. I, 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 I asked the manager. I'm just checking up on my application. At 215. He said. Um, we actually haven't looked at your application yet. 
but can you come back at 3 p.m.? And so I came back at 3.30. Spoke to the same exact person, and look at what he said. He said, Mr. Blocker, we actually hired three new people. We're taking them through the training process, and we're and with that in mind, we're fully staffed. And they're new hires, and they are they are first time jobbers. Do you know what my first job was? That was paid by the books. My first job paid by the books was at Liberty Tech Service at the age of 18. Started there January 17th, 2009. Ended there February 4th, 2009. They got McDonald's. They got Burger King. Shit, they even got Walmart. Full of new hires there. All the full first time job and full first jobbers. First job, first paycheck, celebration, let us stay high. Um anyway. Look at it from this standpoint. Do you want someone who you gotta take time out? To train. To cross train. When you actually have another applicant. Who came in. Looking quite presentable. Who actually has experience. In the restaurant industry. Who do you go for first? Do you go for the one who has experience in the restaurant industry and don't need to be cross trained unless it's a it's a whole different system? Because I've actually looked in Jason's Delicatessen kitchen, they use the same exact surfactants that we used at Budva. They have Eco Lab products. They have hand washing gel by Eco Lab. Scalp pot, <laughs> scalp pot and pan detergent. They got Oasis 146 multi quaternary sanitizer for the sanitizing bullshit. They got wash and walk to clean the floors. And they got victory wash for their vegetables and fruits. I know how to work them all. I have worked. For 10 months. In a restaurant. Can't say all of them months have been the best. But I'm damn sure grateful for the opportunity. Why? Because when I was working I was happy. Even though I had high profile days, which was Thursday and Saturdays, were, were a blunt before work was mandatory. Everything still came in place. Okay. Other than that. CVS Pharmacy in the episode. They fail to realize that sometimes. On some days. They got to have that express self checkout. Open a little bit more longer than they need. And than they actually have it. Express checkout is only used 
Monday is only used during special events or during the rushes. Today, they had one lane open and people wrapped around throughout the entire store all the way to the pharmacy. And so to move things more expeditiously, I actually went to the beauty department to try and check out. Which, which is something I have normally done. Go to the beauty department to check out. The man, in, the man who was man in the beauty department, he said, why don't you just go to the, why don't you go to the lane? And why don't you go to customer service lane? There are too many people in that, in that, in that customer service lane. You need to open up express self-checkout. Oh, he got mad when I told him he needs to open up self-checkout. And then I went to Wild Wing Cafe. Wild Wing Cafe, they have on their website actively that they are actively searching for applica for applicants. This was as of June 17th. In the span of eight days, they cannot have hired three utilities. You cannot have hired three utilities, six cooks, and 12 servers. You really couldn't have. And I'm putting in my application at both their Epicenter and Airsley Town Center locations. The only one I did not do was the location on Mallard Creek Church Road. Why? Because there is no bus that goes out that way. And I am not walking from North Tryon Street. Oh, this man, oh, this little, oh, this little skinny little black boy, he come up here saying, oh, we're not hiring, and then walk off. I'm saying, hey, well, then give the fucking, give the manager my fucking, my fucking resume. Oh, he walk off. See that boy somewhere walking to his goddamn car? I'm going to be his motherfucking ass. I got a taser too, goddamn. Whoo! Somebody's gonna be fried. All right. And then on the way home, because I did leave extraordinary early, extraordinarily early. I um I was on the bus with one of the people. Who I've proposed to be banned from the entire apartment complex. Because all he does is beg. And he is loud as fuck. It is bad. When, when I can hear him all the way from the packy across the street. You really don't. You rarely ever have to hear that from any of us. Because we're peaceable peoples. But I'm going to reiterate it. This man does not need to be in an apartment complex unless he is, unless his name is on someone's lease. And even if... He do not need to be staying here. Because he's fucking with my well health. Because he's fucking with my well being. He's causing ruckus. He has caused my heart to be blown. Three and four different times. On three and four different occasions. Hell. One day. Two houses were blown. On the same occasion. Memorial Day. Number one. He's asking for a cigarette. I tell him. You got to pay for the cent. He said, oh, I ain't got no 50 cents. Can you just give me a cigarette? No, I cannot give you a cigarette because look it. 
I'm not fucking up my um I'm not fucking up my my cigarette wherever though just in order to satisfy your to satisfy your nicotine attack. And then twenty minutes later he come out asking for a fucking extension cord. Honey, you claim you got all this money. Why the fuck do you need an extension cord? And this was at a time where Family Dollar, CVS, and both of the Lucy men were open. This was Memorial Day. And they were open normal hours. Yeah. And then when I get home, Chipotle sends me an email saying that they decided to go through that they decided to go through a different avenue to try and find someone who best fits their needs. Eight interviews. One week. Never will I ever put in another application for Chipotle again. Why? Fuck shit at its finest. People need to realize that when you're applying for and when people are applying for jobs. That means they are actually taking the initiative to actually try and get out of the situations that they are currently in. A. B. They're trying to make things better for themselves. C. They're trying to provide a service. I don't need... I don't need to be paid... $10.60 Ten dollars sixty an hour to do something that I can make for for nine dollars. As long as I can do, as long as I enjoy doing the job, as long as as long as they're complying with and with state and federal laws in regards to the wages, how many breaks, and everything else in between, and as long as I like the job, everything will fall into place. Things are changing, and not for the good, and not for the better. The only thing I can say that will change for the better the only thing I can say that's going to change for the better hmm, is the weather. And that ain't happening anytime soon. Because there is a 40% chance of isolated thunderstorms. We did have a nice little thunderstorm that knocked my ass out. We're going to have the same thing tomorrow. Most possibly at the same time I got to go running in Noda. I'm smoking. And I'm telling you, when people do not act the way they should, Nothing will ever fall into place. People got to learn common knowledge bullshit and do away with some of the f- and do away with some of the fuck shit they learned outside of higher education and the environment. More than likely, I'm going to be telling you more about this on Tumblr. GayNCLT.tumblr.com 
Have a good night.